this sign over here, brother? Come look over here. Tell me, tell me if you see yourself. Who, who do you who do you identify with on this sign? Who well, I identify with? Yes. Shit, Benjamin. Benjamin. All right. So West Indian black. So you know what? You are God's chosen people. Did you understand that? Yes. 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 You know, not everybody gets that status. Bring it up. God's chosen people. God has favorites. You understand that? Well, God gave his people law, statutes, commandments. And while we're living, the greatest people on the earth are living like this in poverty, living from paycheck to paycheck, being oppressed, it's because we broke God's commandments. That's right. One, we'll prove that out of the Bible. Look at the, There's only one people on the planet. Every nation that you go to, the blacks are going to be on the bottom, Bring suffering in poverty. That's right. We got our prophets going all over the world. And everywhere they go, they see our people oppressed. Why is that? Teach, when huh? we're the strongest, when we're the smartest. Right. Teach, you huh? understand? This is God's doing. We yeah. did this because we broke God's law. That's right. And what we're trying to tell our people today is that they must return back to their God. Right. His statutes and commandments. We're going to read it out of the Bible, though. All right? Give me that Deuteronomy 1 and 1 so we understand who this was given to. This Bible only pertains to the Israelites. It's That's not for nobody right. else. And we're going to prove that. We're going to prove all things as the scripture says. Pardon? Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. We right. all the Israelites. That's right. That's right. And that, with that comes a responsibility. Right. God's chosen people made a covenant with the Most High God. You know, that agreement was, and we'll, we can read that out of the scriptures too. But uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1, let's get that real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To all Israel. Not anybody else. Right. On this side of Jordan, in the in the wilderness, in the pl in the plain, over against the Red Sea. Okay, that's what I wanted. Hey, my brother, how you doing? All right, we out here telling our people the good news. The good news is that you guys chosen people. Yes, yes. right. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. When, when you when you understand who you are according to the Bible, that Christ is not this white image over here. He's a black man according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Now, what's your question, sir? Which book of Moses? Because Moses is Christ. They're black men, sir. That's right. Who, who's Moses? Moses is a Christ. Yes, it's the Torah. That's the Torah. That's that's the first five books of the Bible. That's called the law. The Torah is the Hebrew word for the law. Right. Are you understand? Okay. Yeah. What? Christ had come yet, so there were no Christians at the time of Moses. Right. You understand that? So so. Christ came later, about 2,000 years ago. You never heard of Christ? Yeah. Okay. They've been presenting this white image as Christ, but they, the white people stole our images and painted it in their likeness. Right. Well, Christ right. is a black man. Okay, you already know that. So you know you're Israel, right? Yeah, so we're going to speed things up to you. We're going to tell you, if you call yourself a Benjamite, that's what you would call yourself, that's of right. the tri of the nation of Israel. Right. So you're a, an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's, right? Right. that's how you would identify yourself. So let's get Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Now that you understand that you're an Israelite. Yeah, the Christians came. The first Christians came and they were called Christians in the time of Antioch. We're going to do everything in decency and in order. So I'm going to talk and then you're going to talk. And I'm not going to talk over you. You understand we're going to do everything decently in order. So right now we're just going to read Deuteronomy 10 and 12 because we got to let you understand what you're responsible for. What the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, my, my Hispanic brother, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. The Aztecas. You're God's chosen people. That's right. So read that Deuteronomy 10 and 12. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel... What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of thee? That is the question. That is the big question at hand. And we're going to tell you what God requires of his chosen people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, 
Requirement number one is to fear the Lord. What does it mean to fear the Lord? What do you think it means to fear the Lord? I, I'm sorry, speak up. Yeah, that's right. Be fearful of his judgment. That's right. So you need to be aware that God, just like any good father, if you don't do what he says, he's going to punish you. That's right. Say, that's for right. example, I have my son, I tell him to clean up the room and to take care of his responsibilities. If he doesn't do that, I got something for him, waiting on him. Bring because it up. I love him, I'm trying to train him up, and I'm trying to discipline him. That's the right. Most High God is no different. That's right. You understand that? So, In the book of Genesis, uh, Genesis. Well, what's your question? The book of Genesis. Yes. The first book of Moses. Right. What, what's, your, what's your question? And then Jesus came. Jesus said, "Now follow me." Uh, he said that when I come back, I'm going to take my nation to follow my word. Okay. You know what? We'll get to your question in just a minute. I'm gonna finish them with the brothers over here real quick. Okay. Right. Right. Let's finish reading Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because you first thing you got to do is fear the Lord. What's the second thing you got to do? To walk in all His ways. How do you walk in all his ways? What does that mean to walk in all his ways? You want to make sure you get the understanding. Very good. Follow it. Follow it, exactly. That's obey, right. obey. That's right. Okay, when you don't obey, there's going to be consequences and repercussions. Teach up. Right. All right? So let's finish that out. To walk in all his ways. To love him. To love him. What does it mean to love the Lord? Bring it up. Hey, give me that uh, 1 John 5 and 3. We're gonna tell you what love is. A lot of people say, I love God, I love God. They get real passionate about it, but they don't know what they're talking about. Bring it up. We're gonna give you the understanding according to the Bible. We're gonna let the Bible speak. Read, Doc. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it up. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. This is how we love God. You can't put your arms around God. You can't just you got to show God you love him by keeping his commandments. That's Read that right. one more time. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. This book is to give us life. He wrote these laws for our good. Right. Finish reading that in Deuteronomy 10 and 12 and verse 13. It talks about it was written for our good. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And with to serve the Lord. So there comes a point in time that you must not only fear him and love him, but I'll you must, but you must, what does it say? To walk in all his ways. Walk in all his ways, obey him and keep his commandments. What else? And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Then you also have to serve the Lord. And what you see right here is a bunch of men who have repented. They have lived, gave their lives back to the Most High in service to him. We're coming out here to give the good news to my so-called Hispanics, which are the, from the tribe of Issachar, God's chosen people, to Hispanics and the Native Americans, that you are the children of Israel. We're coming out here. We've changed our lives. We quit thugging. We, we quit fornicating and whoremongering. Right. But now we repent it. And that's what all the nation of Israel must do so they can get the kingdom. That's right. You understand that? Read verse 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. For thy bad. I'm trying to keep you from something good. For thy good. It was written for your good. That's right. The laws of God, every, every one of these laws are perfect. Right. Give me that in Psalm 40 and, and, and 8. The laws of God are perfect, right? 197, pardon me, 197. Bring it up. The laws of Keep God up. are perfect. And so why do we resist the laws of God? Why do we resist the laws of God when they are perfect? Read what you got out Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it up. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimonies of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. When you obey the laws of God written in, the, in this book, in the Bible, it will not only keep you, it will make you wise. So let's get into some of the laws that we're supposed to keep. My brother, do you know that, it, that a man is supposed to keep a beard? 
You know, you know, you're supposed to grow a full beard if you can. Yeah. Grow all that you can grow. That's a commandment. That's right. Just like a, a, a male lion has a mane, right? God made a distinction between the masculine and the feminine. Right. He wants the men to be men, and he wants the women to be women. Right. Right. That's right. So there's a dress code for the nation of Israel. Right. Hey, is that a, you, you get that? We're going to get it out of the scriptures. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19 and verse 27. Bring it out. Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. So you're not supposed to have a Michael Jordan where you're bald headed. No bald head in Israel. That's right. You're not supposed to shave off the corners of your beard. That's a commandment. Right. You know, brother, do you eat pork, shrimp, lobster? All those foods. Is unclean to us. That's right. These laws and statutes and commandments are here today. Unlike what they teach in the Christian churches, that you can do whatever you want to do, and all you got to do is say, God, forgive me. That's foolishness. Right. And that's a lie from the pit of hell. They want us to stay defiled so they can continue to rule over us. Do you understand that? Sin keeps us in a lower state. That's right. All right. Holiness and keeping the commandments of God is what's going to cause us to rise up as a nation. That's so right. all of us men must do that. So what you got for me? Uh, read that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is very clearly defined in the scriptures. Right. It is the breaking of God's commandments. That's right. That's right. So we, what do we must do in repentance? Give me that in uh, 1 Kings 8. So this is the process that you see all these brothers out here have done. We're going to tell you how to repent. Because this word is true. And every one of these prophecies that your pastors don't teach are going to come to pass. That's right. And we're out here to show love to our people, telling them, hey, there's a up ahead in some danger. Avoid that. Go this way. All right? So that's why we are here to tell our people the truth. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.